Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got another book review for you today. If you want to check out my list of book reviews, you can check it out here. But today I'm going to be talking about a book that I really liked that was just a phenomenal book that I think everyone should read. It is a very difficult to read book, but it's, 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 it's one of these books that if you have a scientific mind, if you are a critical thinker, if you're not afraid to challenge the the norms if you're not afraid to you know uh, challenge some of what everyone thinks is true about science this book is for you and if you are afraid to do those things you should still read this book because you need this kind of education like this kind of thinking this kind of critical thinking which i believe that we are in short supply of today i've gotten a lot of flack on this channel for presenting some ideas that are Oh, so again, science, when in, in reality, science is deeply flawed in, in terms of, I know a lot of you are like, oh, whatever, hold on, Let, let's, 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 let's hold up here. But it, it is deeply flawed in a lot of what is currently accepted as, as just fact. And it, it, there's a problem, there's a serious problem here. And this book adjust, addresses this objectively. So the book I'm talking about is called Cosmo Sapiens. And again, I know that some of you are very doubtful of everything I've said so far. You're like, bullshit, John, bullshit. I, I get it. I totally get that mindset. I totally understand where you're coming from. But if you think that, okay, if you think I'm full of shit, and I know that some of you, you, you think that I am, that, that's fine. That's totally cool. You think, oh, you know, John is, is smart about the philosophy stuff. But when it comes to science, he just, he's a dumb ass. I totally get that. I totally get that some of you think that. Now, remember that I read like 60, 70 books a year, a lot of scientific books. Okay, fine. But read this book. Read Cosmo Sapiens. Go get the book. Go get it. There's an audio version of it. I listen to the audio version. It's a long ass book. But go through that whole book. And if you still think that I am full of shit after reading that book, fine fine then 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 there's there's i'm not going to convince you any other way because this person who wrote this book the author of this book he did such a great job of objectively looking at all the evidence and explaining it and and he doesn't take it don't get me wrong here he's not taking a stance i'm not taking a stance he's just saying look all this stuff that we think we know let's look at it let's just see what is it based on what is the current theory of Big Bang, you know, he, 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 by the way, he's not an anti-evolutionist. He believes in evolution, you know, and, but what he says is he, he looks at these things like Big Bang and evolution, you know, neo-Darwinian evolution. I did a video actually with the, well, well, the reason why I got onto this book was because I did an interview with Perry Marshall, who's a famous copywriter who wrote a book called Evolution 2.0. You can check out that interview. Anyway, he, he recommended this book and and that's and, and he had a, an objective approach to to looking at this stuff but but this author of, of Cosmos sapiens he does it even better right let, let me get his name here because I think it's John something I have to pull it up here it is John Hans. Yes, that's what, that's what I thought. I just want to make sure. But you should definitely check out this book. I, I highly, highly recommend this book. Not not only just for you know a book that combats some of these th these problems that we have in academia today. And, and this is where it stems from, right? Is and, and this is not a pattern that that is new, right? Okay, so we've we've had this problem for a long time. You have to understand it, and that's one of the things that he tackles in this book. You know, for for instance, geologists for a very long time, they thought that uh, I forget his name, the guy that and he talks about in this book, but the guy that came up with the idea of a plate tectonics, right? That that there's plates moving around. They thought he was a, a whack job. They thought he was nuts. Okay, they thought he was crazy. That there's f plates floating on on magma, crazy that are moving around, and that's how the, the you know continental drift, all that. They thought he was absolutely nuts, and he was basically laughed at, scoffed at, 
and you know, and eventually, <laughs> the, the evidence became so overwhelming that we, we, they flipped on that, and now that's that's the the commonly believed thing. So this happens a lot in science, is that especially in astronomy, in a lot of astrophysics, a lot of these things happen, right? Right now, actually, if you don't know, in, in physics, a lot of the academia is very much obsessed with string uh, string theory, which has it, no, there's nothing even close to an explanation or evidence that, you know, st string theory sounds great, but there's really not a lot to explain it. And so what you'll find is, and, I, and I've talked about this a lot, I, I got to tell you, I love this book because I didn't know this book was out there, but I, I was challenging a lot of these things myself. And I, and everyone would tell me I'm crazy. They're like, well, you're batshit crazy, John. You don't know what you're talking about. Like these really, really dedicated, smart scientists that know way more than you, they say that this is how things happen and that there's dark matter and dark energy and all this and they say that this is how how you know all of these these things happen and, and I'm I'm challenging this thing how the hell would we even know like this is ridiculous like this is the, there's flaws in this there's these equations don't add up people are just filled in variables what what's to put in one you know one thing that, than the other and again I'm not I'm not doing it justice but I, I kind of will give you a preview of what's in the book uh, you know again I know I know some of you are, are, are fine but I'm addressing really the critics out there because I know that some of you really think really believe this you know you believe science as if it's a religion as if there's there's no way that you know that these theories are actually very sound and you know again John Hands in this book Cosmos Sapiens he goes on to show that a lot of these things that are considered theory and that are accepted, right, as accepted almost as fact, they're, they're actually conjectures because they're not even testable by the scientific method. They're not even testable by science and they can't even, even be known by science. But he, he, he does not leave a stone unturned. He goes through every single formula. He goes through every single theory. He gives them equal weight. All the theories you haven't even heard of because they don't make it into academia. And he talks about the problem that we, we currently have in the, in the scientific community where we basically have these prejudices and biases and we've got this system of this good old boy system of people that are, you know, are ego invested into the current theories and the current ways that, that they, they believe that science works and their current research, you know, someone spent 20 years researching this thing and developing this theory or they've gotten funding and so they block out all these new ideas and they basically block out any evidence that's contrary to what they believe. And I know this sounds crazy. Again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very much, I'm, I'm trying not to be apologetic here, but I very much want you to understand that I get your your skepticism right now for for some of you and i get why that you think that i'm still full of shit but just read the book honestly just read the book like you know i will get off your back and stop telling you this this stuff if you would just read this book it, it's so critical and, and i you know again don't take my word for it read the book read you know the evidence there and and see see what he says and and, and make up your own mind but it, it's important that that we de we redevelop as a, as a society, as, as especially as a lot of you, right, who are very smart. I know a lot of people who, who watch this channel, are, you're, you're, you're intelligent, right? You want to improve your lives, right? You want to improve the world. A lot of you have this one block in this one area where you're taking, you're taking authority too, too seriously, too much, like scientific authority, and you're not challenging it because you think that it's just textbook, it's accepted, and, and you've been, you, you have to understand that you've been possibly brainwashed in this area. A lot of us have because it, that's, it's just projected a lot of these things as fact, and we never go back and question these things. And so it's very critical that, that, that we stop doing this, that instead we become critical thinkers again, that we start questioning ideas, that we, we don't just accept things for a fact. When someone says something happened 500 million years ago, we need to look and we need to say, wait a minute, how specifically do you know that, right? And we need to go back and we need to challenge some of those things and we need to say, do other people have other theories uh, that would explain this evidence. Is this even a testable hypothesis, right? We need to go back and, and look at these things. And, and some of them don't matter, frankly. Some of it, it, it doesn't matter. It goes into the esoteric and, and religious and mystic realm because we can't actually know these things with science, but we need to know what that is too. We need to say there's certain things that we can know with science and there's certain things that we can't know with science and let's not confuse them because that's when science starts to become religion 
and that's and that's bad because science and religion should not be at odds with each other right they're 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 different things right science shows us what we can prove in the physical world and religion is is not is is totally outside of that realm and and that's why they don't have to necessarily be in conflict but but when we start to cross the boundaries when we try, start to say that religion defines what must exist in the physical world that that because the religion says this then this then the history and the geological evidence must support it and we're trying to work backwards to prove religion that's bad and when we do the same thing with science when we say well you know because science and we come up with these radical explanations for things that we can't explain because we don't have enough data and information then we're creeping into that mystical esoteric world and we're, and we're turning science into a religion and that's why people People get religious about this. So, yes, this is supposed to be a book review on Cosmos Sapiens, but I want to give you some of these details here because I, I really want you to read this book, honestly. I, and it's a very long book, it's a very difficult book. But if you're going to, you know, I know some of you were very upset about that. I did a video on, on creation versus evolution and and I and I basically I didn't give you a flat out yes I totally agree with Darwin and evolution now you know I I tend to be somewhere somewhere in the middle I'm not a I am not an intelligent design person because again that's <laughs> we've got these camps okay and and I don't necessarily fall into these camps there, there's I have probabilities of what I think might be correct based on what I know and, and, and what we, we have seen scientifically, but I don't have sure bets, right? And, and I think a lot of us should adopt more of that philosophy. So I don't, I don't want to go too much into that. I, I just want to say that read this book, Cosmos Sapiens, even if you have no interest in the debate of the, of the subject, which is fine. It's, an, it's, it's, a, it's a book that every serious student of science should read because it gives a very, very good chronological history of the, the, what we know about cosmology and the formation of the universe, okay? And it talks about every single theory, not just, not just the popular ones that are, quote, accepted in science today. It, and then it goes from cosmology into uh, to evolution right from material evolution from you know how did mo matter get generated from the stars and and, and whatnot and, and how did we go from from chaos to order right that we were basically denying you know defying the law of entropy in, in that case because we we this is a closed system there's there's reasons why the universe is considered to be a closed system with the, with the current theoretical models but and then it goes into the actual biology of evolution so evolutionary biology into yes it, it, he talks about the darwinian model and, and there's actually some interesting things darwin was not the the actual person who came up with a lot of his theories a lot of his theories were already put into his head by other authors that he had read and this is stuff that you don't hear but he's got evidence that that shows the stuff so it's, it's very interesting just just from a historical perspective to see the record of what exactly happened in and what, what happened throughout history and so he he goes through the biological evolution and he talks about a lot of different mechanisms for evolution and what's likely and what do we have we found scientifically he believes in in biological evolution obviously most people do there's a lot of evidence for it we just don't know exactly how it happened but he talks about some of the possible ways like symbiogenesis you know things like that that are are not as widely known and not 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 taught, but they should be because it's it's important because this is this is more accurate science when when we bring all that we know. And then he actually goes into anthropology and how human societies formed and the evolution of those societies, and even talks about the consciousness of the human mind and how the consciousness is a special sort of characteristic that makes us uniquely human. He also talks about how can you define what life is, and you know, and it's not that clear, right? So there, there's just a ton of great I, I couldn't give this book a, a better review honestly like this is a, a critical book for anyone who considers some, themselves in any way a scientist interested in science a critical thinker or a historian who wants to understand a lot of these things and and he does 
talk in some technical terms, but he makes it layman enough that I think most people of the intelligence that are watching this YouTube channel can probably pick it up and understand it, right? So there's an audio version of it if you want. It's like 30 hours. It's, it's seriously a long book and you can check out the print version, but it is, it is well worth the effort and it is gonna take some effort to read this book and like i said read this book and then come at me come back with me make a video response come back and say no i still read this book and you're still full of shit john and and he's full of shit and give me some some reasons why and i will totally i will get you on the youtube channel we will you know we, we will have an interview and you will tell me what is wrong with the things that he said in the book and why it's flawed and i and if you tell me that i like i am totally open to understand that and into you know i, I am totally open-minded in as far as that goes so long video <laughs> i know but I, but i, I want to make this clear because because i really think this is important and i really think there's a lack of critical thinking so many people are taking you know scientific authority as gospel and it just isn't there is just it's so weak it's so much conjecture that that is being preached as gospel and it, it is it's horrible it's sad it's, it is it's stopping progress in these areas and the only way i fear that the only way that we're actually going to progress is when these these uh, these assholes kick kick the bucket. When a lot of these guys that are you know and, and the new generation comes in, but they're going to have to die <laughs> before we actually overturn this this, this kind of s stupid stuff that we're, we're still teaching completely completely batshit stupid stuff in 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 schools, right? I mean, you, you've all I'll give you one last example, and then I promise I'll end this video. But you've all heard of probably that experiment or that you know supposed evidence for uh, for 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 evolution that we can see again i'm not knocking evolution I'm, I'm just saying that the mechanism that we think it works is not how it works but of the moths right the moths in london you know these i forget the name of the moths but they had them on the on the trees and then there was smog from the factories and so these white with white moths with the black speckles they became black moths with white speckles and so that this is like this story right i, I heard it in biology and in school you know i've seen it in textbooks and whatnot totally false totally fabricated those moths don't even land on tree they don't even stay on trees they actually pin them to the trees it, it's just like it, it's totally and then when the factories stopped right when they when they cleaned up the pollution the moth population went back so there was other factors involved it wasn't even a very accurate sampling it was just like totally fabricated evidence but it's still being put in the textbook and still being taught even though it is it is total fabrication so there's a lot of this stuff out there honestly and if you research it and if you actually look it up if you don't just take people's word for it you're going to find this and, and you're going to be shocked. You're going to be amazed. So the best source, like I said, you can check all of his sources in the book. And if he's full of shit, tell me, show me, right? If you think that, that, that you, you know, have the, the evidence that, that what he's saying is not true and that I'm full of shit as well, I'm totally open to hear it, but read the book, Cosmo Sapiens. You can get it here and then, and then come, come at me, come at me, bro. <laughs> all right. If you like this video, if you want more long ass rants about books you can click the subscribe button below and i will do my best to rant your ass about a book and and tell you why science is bullshit <laughs> all right i'll talk to you next time take care